This video is strictly for educational purposes only. All the attacks were performed in a controlled virtual lab environment. The presenter is not responsible for any misuse of the information presented in this video and does not support any malicious hacking activities. Hacking systems is a cyber crime and uh, will land you in prison if you misuse such tools or systems for which you don't have permission. Let's now take a look at the use of this specific tool, Nikto. What is the use of Nikto? We all know what is a web server, what is a web application and the architecture uh, behind web servers and web applications. So you can think of uh, a web server to be any server it can be a Windows server or a Linux server. So on top of the web server, uh, we'll have this uh, web application server like uh, Apache server, Apache Tomcat or Internet Information Server, whatever it is which will be listening in port number 80 for incoming requests. So this server, on top of the server, we'll have our web application running. So web application can be anything. Here, uh, I'm going to consider my own website, codespindle.com. So the web application here, we're going to take up this codespindle. And uh, this is the web application. And it is running using Apache server, and it is hosted on the uh, web server. So this is the architecture and uh, you're going to have the client. Uh, it can be your own laptop wherein you type the URL, say we type codespender.com. So you're going to get an HTTP uh, request generated and uh, the page will be uh, the page will be uh, given back as an HTTP response so there's an http request happening and an http response happening so to keep this entire communication uh, safe what is that we are going to follow here is uh, https that is http uh, secure protocol so why we say https is we are going to encrypt encrypt the communication between the client and the server so once when you encrypt this, even if an hacker is trying to intercept, you'll not be able to know what the actual communication that's happening between the client and the server. There's so one more thing that we have to understand. A web application uh, also uh, is an SSL certificate. So what is the use of an SSL certificate uh, it's actually SSL certificate. So for code spindle, I have purchased an SSL uh, certificate, secure socket layer. So what does that mean is this certificate is uh, issued by a certifying authority to just uh, say this is a valid website. You are contacting the uh, correct website. It's not a fake website uh, like someone else can start codespindle.com and then we are not diverted to a fake website. So SSL certificate is issued by a certifying authority to just to ensure the integrity of the server you are connecting to. So here I have an SSL certificate for codespindle.com. So first the client uh, will verify the SSL certificate. And once when it is uh, sure enough that this particular server is the right server that it's going to be contacting, it will be sent initiating the request and for uh, the communication, the entire communication will be encrypted. So this uh, kind of an architecture exists for a web application. And uh, what is the use of Nikto here? Nikto, say there is this hacker and uh, uh, is using Kali Linux uh, machine and Nikto is, comes pre-installed with Kali Linux. The use of Nikto is it will be useful for scanning vulnerabilities in your web application server, in your web application, say uh, whether there are any port vulnerabilities, whether there are any XSS, cross-site server scripting, we call that cross-site server scripting vulnerabilities, whether there are any SQL injection vulnerabilities, 
whether there is a click jacking vulnerability so lot of vulnerabilities uh, it will be checking uh, um, on the web application and on your web application server whether you have any mime sniffing vulnerability so the uh, number of vulnerabilities the list is extremely large so we can use nikto what is the use of nikto it is used for scanning web applications and web application server for any vulnerability that exists and it will report to you so now we'll go to kali linux i have uh, nikto installed in it let's uh, check how to work with certain commands in nikto so let me move to kali linux so here is uh, kali linux and uh, let's uh, go to web application analysis and uh, web vulnerability scanners and here you have nikto you can very well uh, click on this item and start nikto or else you can go to your terminal and then you can directly use the command nikto to scan any specific web application so the web application i am going to scan is courseventil.com which is my own website uh, since it's my own domain i'm just uh, trying to scan my own domain but the advisors do not uh, perform these scans on domains for which you don't have the permission. So here I have Kali Linux, I have my terminal. So let me zoom in, further zoom in. And uh, let me start scanning. So sudo nikto and we should give post and we can give a code spindle dot com the domain which you know so it will start scanning codespindle.com so we'll enter the password so this is directly scanning my live uh, uh, web application zero post tested okay there is this issue uh, we should be connected to the uh, net for this uh, for this um, let me move to machine settings i'm in the host only adapter here let me change it to nat okay so let me close this me again let's start uh, nikto now let's go to the terminal and let's zoom in So will you start scanning any website you can go with sudo nikto post and then you can give the domain codespindle.com see codespindle.com is my own domain so i'm scanning it so let's enter the password so here is that uh, info about uh, codespindle.com this is the target ip and target port is uh, 80 and uh, it uh, starts scanning for the vulnerabilities so anti-click checking and um, there is this uh, x content type option set that is not set so it's going to bring you all the vulnerabilities so it uh, here brings out the details of the server so it's apache the port number the ip the host name and all the vulnerabilities so it's going to take some time so you can take uh, any uh, web application for which you have permission and you can very well scan it to know the vulnerabilities that, that are present inside that application so let me stop this uh, i don't want to show all the vulnerabilities in my web application currently and it's going to take some time the next thing is uh, you can also perform the same scan using the ipc sudo nikto i can give the ip address of the host i can give 162.214.80 dot 215 it's 115 so this again performs the same scan but it uses the ip so let me stop the scan and you can also be very specific while you're scanning you can target a specific port for that uh, the command is sudo nikto and uh, the host we are going to target here to give say i'll say port spindle.com 
and here I am targeting the port, so I find the port 80. So here it's going to be very specific. It's going to target that uh, specific port, port 80, and then it's going to give you the vulnerabilities. So that's about that specific command targeting a specific port using Nikto. The let me stop this. The next command is uh, let me clear screen. The next command is uh, we can write the entire output to a text file. So you can whatever output the scan results can be written to a text file. For this, uh, we can use uh, sudo nikto and uh, we can give the host name sportsfindle.com. And uh, we want this to be returned to an output file. So I can oh, now you can give any file sportsfind.txt. So now the output is getting written to this file. So whatever we are seeing on the screen is getting written to this uh, text file. Let's uh, stop this. Let's perform an ls. So here you have code spin dot text. So nano code spin dot text. So here you see we are writing the scan results to the output file. I hope you're able to follow this. Let me clear the screen. Like that, when it comes to the output file, you can write it to a comma separated file or you can write it to an HTML file. See the same thing, you, you want to write this to an HTML file, you can very well write it. Say I can write it to quotes pin dot HTML. So the output is written as an HTML file here. See, let's write it. So whatever the scan results, we can very well write it to an HTML file too. So let me stop this and let's uh, open this and quotes spin dot uh, HTML. So here you see the results are getting returned to this uh, HTML file. So it's uh, started writing. So you can write the results to an HTML file, to a text file. You can also write the results to a uh, CSV file. Say you want this to be returned to sports spindle, uh, dot CSV. So that's just going to write the contents to an CSV file. So you have different files to which you can write. Are you clear with this? So let me stop the scan and uh, nano quotes spin del dot csv. So you see it's a comma separated uh, version file. So we are, we are able to write this to csv file. So you can very well use Nikto not only to scan, but you can also divert the scan process to a CSV file or an HTML file or a text file. The next very important thing that we can check is, uh, uh, we can check the encryption used. What kind of encryption exists between the client and the server? I told you there's an SSL certificate which uh, ensures the integrity of the application that we are contacting. And not only that, uh, there is an encryption, there's a public key, private key thing happening between the client and the server. So the server offers uh, the public key which the client takes in and it sends some data encrypted using the public key which only the uh, server can decrypt. So this comes under asymmetric cryptography. We have seen that in, uh, in our cryptographic sessions, but I'm not going to uh, talk more on that. So if you know that, say if you take a look at uh, uh, code spindle if you have a lock here it means that it has an SSL certificate and uh, you can very well take a look at uh, the SSL certificate and the details of the SSL certificate so whenever you are visiting websites uh, see to that uh, you are visiting a secure website and you know that a web application uh, has an SSL certificate uh, you want to know more about that uh, kind of encryption and keys that are used, we can very well uh, perform this particular scan. That is uh, sudo nikto the host name portspindle.com and we can give SSL. So it says that, okay, this uh, particular site uses an SSL certificate, consider that. So it's going to now uh, find you out the kind of uh, See, this is what I was telling you. So it is uh, 
the target IP, the host, and the target port. And here we get info about the uh, ciphers that are used. So it uses an AES 256 uh, bit encryption. And here we have SHA 384 used as part of the ciphers. So you can also you know, focus on sites that are using SSL certificates to get more data about the kind of uh, ciphers that uh, this specific uh, website is using. We can also check whether there are any vulnerabilities in the kind of ciphers that are being used. Suppose you know that, uh, let me stop this. Suppose you know that there is a site that's not using SSL. So we'll not be wasting our time on these kind of things. So if you're sure that the site is not using SSL, so what is that you can perform here is you can very well perform the same thing. But now we're going to say no SSL. So this is not going to focus on the SSL part. Since we know the site is not secure, we can just skip that to have some faster results. Are you clear with this? Uh, so that's about uh, the scanning that uh, we perform with the Nikto. There's one more thing, this file, a domain.txt, uh, let's uh, take a look at this file. So you, you can have a file wherein you can give the domains you can list a set of domains one by one like this and this can be given to our uh, file see this file can be given to nikto say sudo nikto and then we can give the host as the file domain.txt so it's going to take every domain it's going to scan the results for us so now it's uh, multiple ips found so it's going to take every domain and then it's going to start writing the results for the domain. So this is very useful. You can just put uh, 30 domains you want to scan. It scans and it just gives you the result. Not only that, uh, you know, now you're going to get a lot of results. So you can also write the output to an output put, uh, dot text file. So it's going to scan every domain and then it's going to write all the outputs for each domain to the text file. So these are certain commands that we can use to scan the vulnerabilities in web applications and web application server. I hope you are clear with this. Uh, maybe let's wind up this session by taking a look at our output or text file just to check whether it started writing. Yes, it has started writing for course pendant. So once when it has completed for course mental, it will go to the next domain and it will start writing. So that's it. I hope you had a very good insight of what Nikto is, uh, what web applications, web application server, and how they are, uh, uh, the architecture behind their communication, and how Nikto can be used for scanning all the uh, vulnerabilities that persist on web applications and web application servers. That's for now. Uh, we'll be catching you in another session. Take care.